All right, Austin. You know, uh, as you took a lot of cuts the other night, and, uh, you know, this slowing this down is going to point out a lot of different things, and both you and I are both going to be able to see these things together. And you'll you'll be able to see them. Watch your watch your feet. You know, from the feet, from your up, is what I like to do. Is you know, are you getting the most out of your out of your legs when you hit? Fastball, and this is a curveball. See, you're hitting a lot of those out way out front. Let that ball travel a little more. You hit the you hit the curveballs very square, and that's good. You know, one thing I noticed right off the bat is you you definitely have a knack for squaring the ball up, and you like doing it, and that's that is great. That's excellent. You're almost so excited you just want to jump at it, you know, I can tell. And that's going to serve you well later on. But we got to get a, a harness on it, and you got to learn to control it. And we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll talk about it. A lot of this is between your ears. It's not, the, you know, you don't really have much of a problem. You know, that's six inches on the bat. It's the six inches between your ears that we'll work on. And that's things we'll get better and improve on. Baseball is funny. It's like you want them to be aggressive. <clears throat> you want guys to be aggressive, but you also want them to be patient. You know, um, but doggone it, if they can't square it up, none of that matters. And you do a great job of squaring that ball up. We just want you to make better decisions and uh, be able to discern from a good thing, bad thing, very quick, right, at, right early on, you know. Learning when to check a swing versus coming on and swinging at a bad pitch, at a pitcher's pitch. When you watch these in slow motion, watch your feet, watch your, you know, your knees, where your, where your legs are, the femur should be pointing straight down and it's kind of pointing back at your foot, you know, and that will help keep you from rising up as you swing. Um, you know, you're consistently doing that, and we'll talk more about that the next time we get together, but in your dry swings this week, I want you to work on keeping your hips down closer to the dirt and not rising up as you swing. Keep your head and your chest closer to the plate you know, closer down, you know, instead of rising up. And I will see you next time.